Dr. Cutter with the Chainsaw Hospital. Today we're going to be working on Adam, this uh, Poland Micro XXV or 25. And uh, today we're going to be, this is part three. And if you missed part one and two, uh, I'm going to put some links right here. So check those out. And I'm also going to put some down in the description. So be sure to check those out too. Uh, but if you followed through the whole series, and I highly recommend you do, um, we found out on part two, we actually had a problem with this check valve, and that threads in right here. What that does is it takes uh, crankcase pressure and puts it into the oil reservoir, and it allows the oil pump, or the oil to pump uh, up through the uh, this oil hose here. There's a filter and check valve in the tank, and then it allows the oil to pump up and out onto the bar pad. But that wasn't working. I was getting no oil out to my bar which i suspect is why if you look at those other videos part one and two you'll see that there's a new organ bar on here i think these came with a poland bar to begin with they probably probably damaged that bar by not having the oil going but i went online and uh i went to ebay actually and i found a replacement check valve and this is a new old stock and the part number for this is, I don't know where the part number is right now, but what I will do for you, where did that go? Either way, what I'll do is put the part number down in the description and I'll also put it along here, right here. So check that out. Um, yeah, so they're not readily available. Uh, I happened to run across one. It was a little expensive, I thought, for what it is and probably what it cost back in the day, but Hey, it's 2024, so uh, what are you going to do, right? So, uh, either way, here we go. We're going to get this check valve put in here, and we're going to see if this uh, is going to oil. So, uh, let me get you in here a little closer, and what we're going to do is uh, get this check valve installed. We'll get the bar mounted up, the chain on and everything, and uh, start it up and see what happens. So, here's the, the new check valve, and you can see the old one was this uh, half-inch hex, and we removed that in that other video there uh, but the new one here it comes with this gasket so this old gasket is going to need to be removed i didn't peel it off yet so there you go i just just peeled that off and and that's that's kind of clean underneath there good enough for this one it's just kind of peeled the paint back it feels like actually more than anything well actually no that's got a little bit of gunk on there so let's get that off there we go got that yeah we got that all cleaned up so here's the new one it's a slotted slotted head so let's thread that down in there and if this works we might look into uh getting a, a different another one just to have on hand i i don't know if i can find one fairly inexpensive so i've got our our uh, surgical pack here these uh the screwdriver was just fresh fresh out of the autoclave so let's roll that back and here we go we've got our screwdriver so we're just going to tighten this down with our new gasket. So let's see here. We got that on there. Let's go ahead and get this uh, tightened up. I didn't go guns a blazing on it. Just a little just a little tightened up there. Let's go ahead and re reassemble this uh, clutch back on here. So we put that washer in place. And next up is the clutch drum. I put a little dab of grease down in there. So grease that up really nice and then this washer goes right there and the next up is our clutch with the words facing out and we'll just run that up kind of by hand there and I've got the tool to tighten that up with right here so oh that's right it fit right down in that little so what I'll do is I'll put the the socket on there and I'll just kind of tap it with a hammer a couple times just to kind of lock it in place. Got all that in place. Next up, we're going to need our bar and chain, which is right here. So let's go ahead and put the bar in place and kind of get that lined up with the tensioner there. And we'll get the chain installed. And let's try to get it on there correctly. So 
So the teeth, the hooked part of the teeth are facing the bottom of the saw. And the hooked part are facing away from the top of the saw. So we want to make sure we get our uh, orientation right on that. And I went ahead and greased up the bar nose on this bar with a grease gun. So it feels like that has fallen. There we go. Down. Since I'm kind of doing it laying up like this, it kind of fell down inside of there. So there we go. Got that in place. That's close enough for us to get this cover on. Good. Let's get our washer installed. Perfect. And we've got a nut. Right there. And then there's a little screw that goes back here in the very back. Go ahead and get that installed. Flathead screwdriver on that. And what we'll do is we'll tension up this chain. Let's get that tension properly so we'll do is we'll pick up on the bar nose a little bit here and we'll tighten this screw up righty tighty until the chain just barely touches the bottom of the bar just like that see how that's barely touching it and then we'll go ahead and use a half inch wrench to tighten that up i think this bar Tool right here will we'll fit it close enough for what we need. Oh yeah, plenty tight. Okay, so we'll check now for operation real quick. And there we go. Just everything's just a little dry. Um, we might might loosen that up just a little bit. Well, maybe it'll wear in. All right. Either way. Let's get some bar oil in here. So that's where the oil fill is for the bar oil. And then we'll get some gas in there because I had dumped all the gas out and the oil out while it was kind of in storage waiting on parts. Got some bar oil here. That's plenty in there for that. And the O-ring looks good on there. So I got some Opti 2, 50 to 1, mixed up here. This is uh, all I use for everything. Good stuff. Right, that's plenty to get it started. Got it all filled up. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing going. Turn the choke on. Choke is on top. I'm just going to flip it you know, straight over there. And then this on-off switch, I'm going to flip it to the on position which would be toward the, the recoil handle. Let's, uh, yeah, see what happens. All right, we got a little pop there. I'm going to go ahead and flip the choke to the run position and leave the ignition switch on. All right, maybe we'll try it with the choke again. Yeah. All right, let's try it without the choke. I think I'm going to have to hold the trigger down and pull it like this.
All right. Well, it looks like it's oiling now. Let's see if I can get you in real close here and show you. Um, nice and shiny. You can see that. But uh, yeah, uh, it looks great. Burning off a little bit of that oil from that bad uh, check valve that was in there. And it was just pumping oil right into the uh, cylinder there. So let's take a few test cuts with this. Let's see if we can get it restarted. Pretty easy. And uh, we've got some, some nice and dried locust here. And uh looks like it's uh you know when locust dries out it's uh kind of petrified kind of it's rock it's rock hard so i'm gonna i'm gonna get you in a little closer here on this and see if we can get some cuts and see if we can get it going but let's let's first see if we can get this restarted with one pull i'm gonna do the one hand and, and pull away from me method here okay three pulls but still have some tuning to do I uh, really didn't get a chance before because it was uh, so dry. But yeah, that that chain looks great, nice and nice and slick now. Okay, well, Adam is cutting fantastic, and you can see a nice, nice film of oil on there. So, uh, doing great with that. Yep, looks like everything kind of loosened up there a little bit, too. And you can see it's got a nice, slick, slick film on there. So, perfect. Adam is cutting great. So super excited to get Adam up and running. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, check out those other parts if you haven't seen them already. And um, yeah, this is going to be a great little saw uh, to carry around in the four-wheeler and the little, the little basket in the back. I've also got a little scabbard kind of thing in the front, which, you know, that's, that's nice for the bigger saws. But the little ones can fit pretty much anywhere on there. So, um, but either way, you guys... Um, give adam a huge thank you down in the comments below he really helped us out um he thought about us the chainsaw hospital and dr cutter when he saw this thing and um so a huge thank you to adam so either ways guys um remember keep your chain sharp and stay safe